Hi everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Chums channel, the custom lightsaber review channel on the YouTubes. So a little bit of an update today. Um, I just did my first down payment for the Nerf X Lab or slash Solos hold uh, Blind Knight and Orphan, or better known as Ezra Bridger's lightsaber from season three and Kanan Jarrus lightsaber from the Star Wars Rebels uh, cartoon series. I am absolutely thrilled. I even thinking about getting a second Kanan Jarrus hilt from Solus Holt because this will be a very limited run, uh, probably a one time off run. After the run has ended and the prepayments has been uh, defined, um, what I saw with the Solus Holt, uh, other sabers, let's say uh, the Ashoko Tano lightsaber, for example, the price was over, uh, more than 50% more, uh, no, no, it was doubled. So it was. Uh, it started at uh, 350 US dollar range per saber, and after that, it was around 800, 900 uh, per per hilt, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but the price goes up quite significant after the run is closed. So you need to jump on it now. The you can still order them. You can still be part of the pre-order and do the down payment. Once that down payment time closes out forget it you have to need to pay either double price and then you still have a li very limited time till the last s additional sabers are uh, out of stock and then that's it gone is gone so they're probably gonna make a um, I think from the list what I saw on the forum I think they will be making around 200 to 250 hilts uh, or complete uh, I mean total uh, of the uh, Kanan Jarrus and uh, the uh, Ezra Bitcher hilts um, so they will be very limited but they will be super high quality uh, by Solos hold and they will be amazing and the second hand market they will ask a good penny for those hilts because those are very sought after hilts and a lot of people want to have one so I'm even sure if you just buy uh, one or two extras uh, just as an investment I think it's a very good uh, uh, thing to do and that's why I'm gonna get my second Kane and Jarvis hilt I'm gonna do the procurement after this video and I'm gonna sell off one of my Vader's Fold Havocs for that to fund that because of course my funding is not uh, unlimited I also have to be very careful with my wallet uh, but um, if it comes down to the choice of having keeping my Vader's Fold wrapped havoc, which I absolutely love, as my daily carry, my sleeping body, everything, or the Kanan Jarrus from Solus Holt, and it's a no-brainer for me because I just love the character Kanan here, uh, Kanan, um, Kanan Jarrus, and I love his classic saber design. I think it's a unique, awesome saber design. I absolutely love it. It's a little bit bulky, a little bit chunky. Uh, definitely has that 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 original trilogy feeling to it and uh, yeah I need to have it I need to have it uh, so that was gonna happen um, so yeah as you might know custom sabers take a long time to make so don't expect them uh, to be reviewed for another six to eight months I think maybe end maybe early Jan February next year Nah, that's that's maybe too much. Let's say end of this year, end of 2017, November, December, we can actually have them in our hands and uh, and start doing reviews about them. So you need to wait for a while. If you're in the market for such saber, uh, you need to be fast. You need to go to the Nerf X Lab uh, forum treat on Imperial Arms, and then uh, subscribe and and uh, tell how many you want and start paying for it because gone is gone. I, I'm pretty sure after that there might be a second run somewhere in the future but then it will be more expensive probably than it already uh, is and actually the price is not bad it's around 350 US dollar per empty hilt and according to Obi Shane which I spoke on his uh, YouTube page uh, YouTube channel and they're gonna actually uh, powder coat um, um, most of the saber as well so you get it pre-done uh, unlike with the solos hold normally uh, where you get your hilt in the raw f in the raw um, just in the raw format or just without any powder coating paint and whatsoever and that's up to you to do then so that's another uh, benefit um, so I hope uh, that will continue and actually will get set through by uh, Obi Shane 
because that will really really add a lot more value to it but I have an almost complete empty hilt I don't need to do much about it I just have to somebody or myself install the electronics and so yeah jump on that really jump on it uh, just no-brainer jump on it and um, uh, well, then of course we have the Vader's Fold Rat Fury and the Hero are waiting for those sabers so don't expect them uh, to be done and ready for review for another I know six to ten months this uh, six to eight months to coming uh, this coming year to come have them coming in and I can do the review um, so in the terms of high-end lightsabers there will be at least five or six of them uh, being done this year so I mean about high-end I mean solos hold the faders fold and some low-end uh, stuff uh, as well and there will be a mixed bag there also will be some doing some reviews of preview sabers or new sabers that are entering the market uh, from saber uh, wonder saber sorry uh, wonder sabers the tour in version 4 <coughs> and the part-time hero prop sabers <coughs> gonna do reviews on those sabers very soon as well and uh, some saber force uh, stuff um, but um, I have to say for Saber Forts, um, I'm gonna start taking a step back probably. Um, start to. Uh, I gotta. I start to get a more and more in a point where I say, yeah, for $150, you get a nice Saber. Um, very nice entry price range for an, uh, an, a nice design Saber, but. Um, something that starts to bother me more and more is the, the way how the Sabers are constructed. Um, Sabre Force is a big fan of hot glue or uh, super glue and I find more the more lightsabers I review from Sabre Force the more parts I find that are super glued together instead of threaded or uh, screwed or whatever um, that starts to bother me a lot it starts to really bother me more and more and more um, it's becoming more and more clear to me that the sabers look nice from the outside but the construction and design which to me is very important because I really I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for industrial design so I'm really a sucker for sabers that are a very specific design and the elements all come together and it's well thought out like how this part is interacting with this part and how that uh, translate in a certain um, way is it a feature a functionality a uh, something that really appeals to me and how that is how is how it is done and uh the more i do those reviews with those saber fort sabers the more i see yeah this is this is just yeah this is not what i like this is not what i like i can see the points of course because it has to be stay within a certain price range but i just think it doesn't appeal to me it's just um it doesn't satisfy me just from a technical uh, construction point of view on those hilts and the hilts are the most important element to me because electronics there can be any electronics it can be any way but the hilt is the hilt design the hilt is the hilt this, this is your, this is your base now if the hilt is not good then it the, the base is not good and then it doesn't matter what you put in there um, and also something else that I'm gonna start doing a lot of reviews on my YouTube uh, channel for uh, it's something I, I really start to enjoy a lot like I really start to fall in love with these figures these this is a, a Bandai figure arts figure and Jesus Christ they're so amazing I absolutely love these figures they're so so unbelievably high detailed high posable absolutely fun figures much much better than the black series from Hasbro and uh, I'm gonna do a lot more uh, reviews on all these figures. I'm gonna buy a whole lot of them and I'm gonna start the collection. Uh, they're not cheap, but uh, the skill, the quality, the, the, the construction, the paint, the post possibility, etc. It's, it's absolutely on what I like. This is what I like. So uh, please expect a lot of uh, reviews coming up of these guys. And um, that's it. That's it, basically. Um, nothing else to tell. Uh, just um, 
looking forward to grab my hands as I told before on some KR Sabres uh, waiting for the KRS 4 to come back in stock on KR Sabres KR Sabres on the Etsy page are currently closed down for the weekend um, so I'm uh, gonna get in touch with Call. I already was in touch with Call about uh, doing some custard powder coat job for one of his Sabres um, so I'm gonna pursue that because uh, those those uh, KR Sabres um, hilts, those do-yourself hilts, uh, the KS124, are awesome. They have a very, very nice diameter in terms of thickness of the hilts and the length. They're like, uh, they're they're exactly like a Vader's full combat class. Uh, each one, each slightly thinner, uh, absolutely amazing. And um, I wanna I wanna really do reviews on those Sabres because they're really uh, gems. And um, yeah, of course, uh, more sabers as well. Gonna give some ultra saber love, get some grab bags, see uh, what I get, uh, see if grab bags are worth to do or is it just a gimmick. I'm um, kind of curious because I never done a, a grab bag before, so uh, we can do a few of those. And uh, yeah, that's it for uh, now. So uh, take care. See you and uh, stay scummy.